to ask the Treasury Minister how much the September 2021 bond launch cost and what the expected annual costs are until the maturity of the bond. Treasury Minister to reply. Thank you Mr President. The cost issues for the bond amounted to just under 1.64 million which equates to 0.41% of the issue. The interest cost is 6.5 million per annum, pay payable semi-annually. There will also be some de minimis costs relating to ongoing reporting and audit requirements. Thank you, Mr. President. Supplementary, Mr. Thomas. Uh, thank you, and I congratulate the um, Isle of Man government, particularly the Treasury, for having uh, issued these uh, bonds in September, which will now run till 2051 and can be used for great purpose. Does that uh, expenses cost cover all of the fees paid to HSBC when it acted as sole ESG structuring advisor, to Banco Santander, to Barclays Bank, to HSSB Bank as lead managers, to Clifford Chance, which acted as legal advisor to the issuer, to Dentons for, for acting as providing legal advice to the underwriters, to Ernst & Young for acting as independent fi financial advisor, and to Keynes Advocates for, for <coughs> providing counsel to the Treasury. Moreover, does it, provide, uh, does it include the costs of Keynes Listing Services Limited, um, acting as listing agent, also any costs on an annual basis to Moody's or otherwise, and finally to the International Stock Exchange where these bonds are listed? Treasury Minister to reply. In detail. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The question was around the cost of the launch, um, the launch costs, and my understanding is that the, the issue costs were 1.64 uh, million, as I stated in the initial um, thing. I can also advise, although it is slightly composing onto the next question and the, ne the next answer, um, that Treasury also, as a result of the hedging on the bond, received back 3.8 million, which more than covered the offsetting of any issue costs of the debt. Supplementary, Mr. Thomas. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I appreciate that. So, all those um, entities actually sourced from the government uh, press release and its uh, agents' press releases at the time. So, can the uh, honourable <coughs> minister circulate in writing then a statement about all of those costs being included in that uh, in those fees? And. Uh, yeah, congratulations on having, uh, having benefited from the hedges. Hedges are work like that. Sometimes they work, sometimes they just hedge what you've done. Can the, uh, can the Treasury Minister agree to circulate more details of, uh, of, um, of that uh, hedge position during the launch process to honourable members? And finally, uh, will the Treasury Minister accept uh, congratulations that he's chosen to give out all this information, which was actually requested during the debate when he <coughs> approved it, but at the time it was regarded as highly, uh, as highly confidential? Minister to reply. Thank you very much, Mr President. At the time of launch, of course, things are confidential. Um, I'm always willing to accept congratulations, and I'm more than happy to follow <laughs> up um, from the honourable member in writing.